All right, I'm back again. I will try my darndest to keep this brief for y'all. Uh, something came to my attention today that I had not actually known of because it wasn't in, really in the mainstream news. Apparently, this was about six days or so ago, and I'll throw a link down below, and I might have even remembered to update the thumbnail to the screenshot, but apparently, uh, let's see, today is... May 10th? May 9th? It's Monday, so. But apparently six days ago, the judge on the uh, Ghislaine Maxwell trial reduced the maximum number of years, her maximum sentence, by 10 years. Well, as I said about it, it's a great little old club, and uh, people like you and I are not invited sound familiar? I gloated about that a few times way back when. But it's still true. And you think, what's the point of this video? It can't be just to say that. Well, think back. What was going on right about that time? Oh, that's right. Uh, the first ever Supreme Court leak of a decision draft of a majority decision. Yeah. Uh, so, that came out. Big uproar. And they slipped a one of the main living ringleaders, known living ringleaders, uh, of a sex trafficking syndicate, basically, that catered to uh, the elite of the world, princes, polit major politicians across the globe. She so happens to have her uh, sentence reduced by 10 years and has moved to general population, mind you. At the same time, an unprecedented leak of a uh, rough draft of a majority decision from the United States Supreme Court comes out giant coincidence, right? Nothing suspect about uh, that happening at all, is it? It almost, if you, when you think of something like that, it's almost like they're covering for something. Now that she's had a solitary confinement for the first time in two years, hmm. Ghislaine Maxwell didn't kill herself. That's what comes to mind. I don't know what's going down. I don't. What I do know is something smells funky about this. And I've been saying all along, something hinky was going to go down, but eh. Like I said, they're going to take care of their own because, like I said, with the, uh, the client list, they're never going to come out with that. They're never going to prosecute. And with what they're doing to uh, Julian Assange, no one's going to take the chances of leaking it. They'll wind up like Assange and Snowden. But hey, the United States government wants to have a disinformation board, so that way things like what I'm saying can be censored and I can be locked up or whatever they plan to do to me. Because free speech? Land of the free, home of the brave. And unless you're critical of the government in any way, shape, form, or fashion, then you can kill yourself in jail. 
under questionable circumstances. Yeah, I'll try and slip a link down below. Uh, later.